A new law that took effect this year could reduce sentences or even set free a dozen convicted murderers in San Luis Obispo. KSBY News reporter Asia Gore spoke with a defense attorney representing one of the inmates as well as the family of a murder victim. Asia? Richard and Karina, the law aims to hold defendants accountable for what they actually did and not the actions of their accomplice. Almost 11 and a half years, but every time we revisit this, it's very emotional for us. The 2007 murder of their son Joshua still haunts Lawrence and Tori Holgate over a decade later. Josh had saw the gun, started to move toward the sliding glass doors. To get out. To get out, but it was too late. Chad shot him at that point. Chad Westbrook was later convicted of murder in San Luis Obispo. So was then 18-year-old Patrick Wallet, who beat Holgate but did not pull the trigger. It used to be that if someone died in the commission of certain enumerated felonies, everybody that was responsible uh, for that underlying felony was responsible for murder. San Luis Obispo defense attorney Earl Conaway doesn't know the Holgates, but he does know this situation well. His client, Gerardo Estrada, was sentenced to prison for the 1986 murder of Ronald Gao. He was involved in a um, residential burglary. Uh, his friend at the time uh, committed a heinous act to a, 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 an innocent victim, but Mr. Estrada was not responsible for his murder. Estrada and Wallet are just two of 15 defendants sentenced in Slow County who are petitioning for a new sentence. While some call the new law a slap in the face for victims, the Holgate family disagrees. That would be justice. Yeah, I feel justice would be served in that case. It certainly is not served in cases where there is no criminal intent. A surprising act of compassion from two grieving parents who say their pain does not justify an unfair sentence. That certainly wouldn't bring closure to me to see him punished as if he were the murderer. The defense attorney tells me a judge in Northern California just ruled the new legislation unconstitutional, meaning there could be a lengthy court battle before any defendants are released. In the newsroom, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. Estrada, who is now 53 years old, is due in court for a hearing in June. If the judge decides he is not guilty of the murder, he could be released.